Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Cheryl and this is Your Journey Yoga. Um, some wonderful gentle stretches. Um, staying on the floor today, but just really getting your whole body. Um, wonderful for any time. Uh, wonderful if you're just getting started in yoga. Amazing for after a workout or even before. Um, so taking care of yourself, always um, an important piece of staying healthy, healthy and happy. So I hope you're wonderful. Thanks for joining me, guys. Coming on to our backs, just safely coming down. And we're just gonna extend those arms out. We're gonna reach through the toes and through the fingertips. Mm, nice, big, deep breaths. And let's draw one knee in towards the chest. And then the other hands to your shins, just below those knees. Just a gentle pull in, checking in with your lower back, those hips, and gently rock side to side. A little massage for your back. Great way to help realign your pelvis. Just getting the body moving gently. We're gonna come back to center. We're gonna keep a hold of that right knee and extend that left leg out and down. Bringing both hands to the shins just below that knee and give it a nice pull in towards the chest. Shoulders nestled down and away from your ears. So we hold our stretches for just a few moments, a few breaths, to give our bodies an opportunity to really feel that stretch and let go. Releasing that left arm out to a T. We're gonna pull that right knee up and out just a bit. So just a deeper stretch, now through the inner thigh. Bringing it back to center. Extending the leg to the sky, bringing the hands behind your leg anywhere you like. If you need a modification, bend that left knee and bring the sole of the foot to the mat. Otherwise, feels good to you. Have that leg long, that left leg long, and we're going to use the strength of the arms to pull that right leg in. Nice, big, deep breaths. Nestle those shoulders down against the earth. Once again, pulling that right knee in towards the chest. Let's bring that left foot up. Bending that left knee, placing that right foot across the left knee and opening that right knee out to the side, getting into the hip. Now we draw those knees in towards the chest, reaching that right hand through that little window. Interlace your fingers behind that left thigh. Again, draw those shoulder blades down, back towards the mat. Breathe. A little lift of the upper body if that feels okay to you. An extension of that left leg if that feels okay and add a flex of your foot. Keeping that left leg long, slowly lower your bottom or your, your back towards the floor. Relax those shoulders. Bending that left knee, releasing the hands, placing that left foot to the mat. We're going to open that right knee out to the side, extending the arms out to a T and slowly lower both knees to the left, as though you were going to place that right sole of the foot to the earth. So it may or may not come to the mat, that is okay. A gentle press with that right knee out and away from you. Just a nice long stretch all through that side body and up through the back. Slowly rolling back to center. Pulling that right knee in towards the chest, extending that left leg out once again. We're gonna roll to that left side, sliding your hand down to the ankle on that right foot, drawing your heel in towards your bottom. Breathe, slow, steady breaths. Now 
Now slowly we're going to roll back over to that right side, placing that right foot underneath us as best we can, or off to the side. Extend those arms overhead, or release your hands to your hips. Now this is a pretty intense stretch, guys, for the knee and for that quadricep. So just be nice to your body. If we need to come over a little bit, come over a little bit and support, just creating as much weight onto that right leg as feels good to you. And remember, good is a relative term. So if it's not great, guys, your breath will tell you, your body will tell you, listen to it. Extending that left arm back out, rolling back over onto that left side to release that right leg. We roll it back to center. Extend those arms out, reach through those toes. Big deep breaths. And we pull that right knee in. Hands to the shin, just below the knees, pull it in nice and tight. Letting go of tension in that lower back and those hip flexors, a nice stretch for your knee, for the quadricep. And let's release that right hand and extend it out to a T. Left hand is going to pull that left knee kind of up and out just a bit. Deeper stretch through the inner thigh of that left leg. Now you might notice that there's some activation through those oblique muscles on that right side. Kind of a neat sensation. We pull it back to center. Bring the hands behind your leg and extend your leg. Flex your foot again if that's too intense. Bend that right knee, place the sole of the foot against the earth. Otherwise, leg stays long and we gently pull that left leg in. Breathe, slow, steady breaths. Close your eyes, relax your jaw. Gently releasing the intensity with the arms, pulling that right foot in. We cross that left foot over the right and open that left knee out to the side. Arms extend out to a T, and we're going to slowly lower both legs to the right. Again, working to get that left sole of the foot to the earth. It may or may not happen today. If it's above and kind of hovering, that is all right. No worries. Chest stays open to the sky, and we're giving a gentle press away with that left knee. You should feel a really nice stretch through that left hip, up through the belly, along that left side. Slowly we roll it back to center, drawing the knees in towards the chest, reaching that left hand through that little window. Interlace your fingers behind that right thigh and pull those knees in. Wonderful stretch for that left hip. Nestling those shoulders down towards the earth. Breathe. If you like lifting the upper body, drawing your nose towards your knee. If you like extending that right leg, flex your foot. So just being mindful and being kind. Listening to what your body needs today and being present with your breath. Slowly lowering the upper body back down. Softly bending that right knee. Releasing your hands, placing that left foot to the mat, or I'm sorry, right foot to the back, uh, mat, and extend that right leg out. Relax. Extending right arm overhead. Bringing that left knee back in towards the chest. We're going to roll to that right side and pull in the hand back towards that left ankle. Relax the weight of your head and draw that left heel towards your bottom. Find your breath. Soften your face. Feel that nice stretch through the front of that left leg. Now slowly we're going to roll back over onto that left side, tucking that left foot underneath us or kind of off to the side. And we're going to roll over, being mindful of the knees, of that quadricep on that left side, feeling this great stretch through the hip flexors down the front of that left leg. We do not want any pain, guys, so be mindful of that lower back. Again, if you need to, we're supporting. 
And we're only putting as much weight on that leg as feels good to you. Again, good is a relative term. So listen to your body. Once again, we roll back over to that right side, releasing that left leg and rolling back down. Extend those arms overhead, point your toes, reach, 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 reach. Inhale, drawing the knees in towards the chest, hands to the shins, just below those knees, pull it in nice and tight. Placing your right foot to the mat and then the left. Feet hip width apart, feet right up by your bottom, hands down by your sides, tuck the pelvis so that the small of the back presses into the mat, and let's slowly, slowly begin to lift those hips towards the sky. Peeling your spine off the mat one vertebra at a time. Then we come up to bridge pose. Top of bridge pose, we're squeezing our buns, our knees are right in line with those hips. We're gazing up towards the sky or towards the belly button. Find your breath. If you like, bring your hands behind your back and interlace your fingers, working to extend those arms out. If we can't quite get full extension of those arms, just stay here, focusing on that. If we can get those arms long and you wish to, roll those shoulders underneath you one at a time, helping to lift those hips even higher. Breathe, slow, steady breaths, opening the chest, stimulating the thyroid, strong through those glutes. Gently releasing your hands, unroll the shoulders one at a time, and slowly lower yourself back down. Each vertebra individually coming back to the mat. So your bottom is the last to touch. Extending left leg out, right knee comes in, right arm extends out to a T, left hand to the outside of the right knee, and gently pull your leg across your body. Keeping both shoulders on the mat just as best you can. Turn your gaze out over that right arm. And then just close your eyes. Relax your jaw. Releasing that left hand, rolling back to center. Extending right leg to the sky. Point your toes, lengthen your leg, little external rotation through that hip and slowly lower your leg down and allow it to come to rest. Left knee comes in, left arm extends out to a T, right hand to the outside of the left knee and gently pull your leg across your body, keeping both shoulders on the mat best you can. Turn your gaze over that left arm. Close your eyes and breathe. Releasing that right hand, rolling back to center, keeping that left knee tucked in, bring the right knee in. Lift the upper body to a tight little tuck and gently rock side to side, little tiny movement. Just a little massage for the back. We bring the hands behind the thighs and rock yourself up. Let's turn. Sitting in a cross-legged position, releasing your hands down by your sides. Close your eyes, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, release the chin towards the chest. Inhale, head up nice and tall. And as you exhale, lean your head to the left. Just gently bring in the ear towards the shoulder. Inhale, it up tall. And as you exhale, lean the head to the right, drawing that ear towards the shoulder. Inhale it back to center. Take your gaze out over that left shoulder, just rotating through the neck, far as you can turn. Coming back to center, and now take it out over the right, far as you can turn that head. Inhale it back to center. Extend those arms out to a T, crossing that left arm out in front, bringing that right hand to the top of the, to the um, tricep and pull that arm in nice and tight, pressing that left shoulder down and away. Now turn your gaze out over that left shoulder. 
with a little tuck of your chin towards that left collarbone. Nice stretch through the shoulder, the upper back, through the neck. We lift our gaze and turn back to face front. Let's take that left arm up and back, lifting the chest, rolling those shoulders back. Breathe. If you like taking the right hand, sweeping it around, can you find your fingertips? Lock them if you can find them. Otherwise, just keep that hand on the elbow or if you have a strap, drop your strap down from that top hand to the bottom hand and breathe. Take a big breath in and as you exhale, gently lean to the right. Just a deeper stretch. You can stay up nice and tall. Inhale it up tall and as you exhale, lean to the left. Just notice how your body responds, how your breath responds, if you end up holding your breath. All the different muscles that come into play, the deeper stretch for the shoulders, inhale it back up. Release your hands, extend those arms out to a T and we cross that right arm out in front, bringing the left hand to the tricep and gently pull. Drawing that arm in just as tightly against you as you can, pressing that right shoulder down and away. We turn our gaze out over that right shoulder with a little tuck of your chin towards your collarbone. Slow, steady breaths, closing your eyes if you like. Keeping that length in the spine, we lift our gaze, turn it back to face front, taking that right arm up and back, left hand to the elbow, gently pressing, keeping the chin off of your chest and those shoulders roll back and down. If you like, sweep that left arm around behind you. Again, if you have a strap or a towel, you can drop that down from that right hand to the left. Otherwise, just keep the hand on the elbow. Take a big breath in, and as you exhale, gently lean to the left. Just that nice stretch through the side body, deeper stretch in the tricep, through the shoulders. Inhaling it back to center, and exhale, lean to the right. Breathe, find your breath. Inhale it back up nice and tall. Release your hands, extend your right arm, and lift the left. Exhale, lengthen, hinge it forward. Release your hands, relax the weight of your head. Head heavy, face soft, and just a beautiful release for that lower back. Super good stretch for those hips. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands out to the right and reach through your left fingertips as far as you can reach. Relax the chin towards your knee. We take that left arm up and over, opening the tummy and chest, reaching out towards the side of the room. We can remain on the palm of the hand or we can come down onto that right forearm. Gaze to the sky, roll that left shoulder back, pressing that left sit bone towards the mat. Beautiful long stretch all the way down the side of your body. As you exhale, releasing the tummy and chest back to your thigh. Inhale, lift just slightly and walk your hands back through center. Fingertips reach out just as far as you can reach and relax the weight of your head. Inhale, lift just slightly and walk your hands out to the left, reaching through your right fingertips as far as you can reach, pressing that right hip towards the mat. We take that right arm up and over, opening the tummy and the chest, reaching out towards the side of the room. Again, we can stay up on that left palm or come down onto that right or that left forearm. Pressing that right sit bone towards the mat, feeling that long stretch all the way down that right side. As you exhale, release the tummy and chest back to your thigh, reaching out through those right fingertips, relax the weight of your head. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands back through center, fingertips reach out as far as you can reach and relax the weight of the upper body down. Inhale, circle the hands back by your hips, big circle of the arms overhead as you hinge up tall and exhale, pull your hands to heart center. 
thank you so much for joining me. I hope you feel great. I hope that got your whole body and you're just feeling amazing. So wishing you all the best. Again, always thank you for joining me. I know there's tons of options out there, but I appreciate you more than you know. Take care of yourself. Be well. And until the next time, namaste.